Hello guys, today I'm going to talk about my Fujinon 35 F2. So this is the Fujinon 35 F2 which is equivalent to 15mm in full frame. It is an all-purpose lens for me and to be honest with you, I'm a little bit skeptical about this lens because of its price. It's actually the cheapest on their lineup so I thought that maybe there are some sacrifices when it comes to its quality but I was wrong. I was a little bit skeptical until I put my hands onto it. Let's go to the good things about this lens. As you can see, very small kind of lens and it's also very light. Look at this one. It's only about 2 inches as you can see. But to be honest with you, I don't really like the physical look of this lens. It's like a cone shape. I'm not really a fan of this shape of the lens because I don't know, maybe it's just my preference. Though it is really really perfect for travel for travel lens. So if you have a wide angle lens already like the 16mm, the 14 or the 23, yeah this is a really good it's not that good for landscape because the focal length of this one is equivalent to 50, right? So it's a little bit tight. Though it is a very small and light, but when you actually hold this one, it's very solid and you can say that there is nothing hollow inside this lens. So this is what I love about this lens, the build quality and the feel if you're going to touch this or if you're going to hold this. So it's really, really good. To your hands the problem with this lens is this is what this is the lens this is what it looks like you cannot really hold this properly especially if you're going to mount this on the body All right so there if you have a very very big hand so it's not really a good handling but for me it's okay this is a WR lens and I have been using this under the rain or at dusty places and it works perfectly fine the aperture ring of this lens this one it has the most resistance if I'm going to compare this to other to other lens that I have, the 16 1.4 and the 56 1.2. It's very, you know, it's very snappy and smooth. So there is no accidental turning if you if ever you are using this outside the field. And it's also very audible. See? <laughs> when it comes to sharpness, first off. I can't really compare this lens with its older version, the 35 1.4, simply because I don't have that one, right? But I am confident and I can say that this lens is actually very, very sharp already. It's very, very sharp beyond compare. It's even sharper to the 56 1.2 that I have. So now I'm going to show you the same image or the same picture but has different aperture. So. When it comes to autofocus, this lens is very fast and very smooth, very snap and it doesn't really hunt. This is what I love about this lens. So I'm going to show you now the video. This is just like a, de a demonstration on how this lens um, focusing on its object. What I love about this is of course the number one is the price. This is the cheapest on the lineup. Number two, the build quality which is very small, very light and very solid. Number three, the autofocus. Very fast and very smooth, very snappy and it doesn't hunt. And most of all, the sharpness of this lens. It's beyond compare. So if you love black and white photography, this is perfect. But one thing that I don't really like about this lens is its physical look. That's the only thing that I don't really like about this lens. But, but other than that, I have no complaint. So thank you very much for watching and see you again on my next video. And if you like my video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. So keep shooting everyone. Bye-bye.